Director of Public Health for Central East Cheshire Primary Care Trust and Cheshire East Council. Today we're just reflecting on the outcomes really of today's Living Well in Cheshire East conference, um, which I'll, I'll point that question to you. Um, how, how do you feel? What, what were your thoughts on today's conference? Immediate thoughts. Um, it was a very exciting event. I thought it went really well and introduced a very wide audience to some quite new concepts about how to work um, and challenged quite a few of ours, um, including my own thinking about how we're going to approach addressing inequalities in a different way in the future, and particularly engaging with the public. I, I think we had a, a, a good range of partners attending today who would not normally sit in the same room around this topic, and they've come into contact for other reasons, but hopefully we can get them steered in one direction to travel uh, address health inequalities. Uh, over the next 6 to 12 months, what are some of the key things you think we can look to do as a partnership? I think it's like everything else. Uh, first of all, realise, and build on today, and realise we have got a unique, set, a unique set of circumstances in Cheshire East around health, which we need to look at more carefully, think of a different way of approaching and recognise that the time is ripe to do that. Um, and work alongside the organisational changes that actually are happening with us and for us. That combined with the financial imperative is a time, indeed, that we've absolutely got to address inequalities to make sure we're delivering and providing cost-effective, efficient solutions and reducing inequalities at the same time. The two have to run hand in hand. It's an economic imperative and there's a moral imperative. I think there's something about setting up the structures well so that we do have the task and finish group, people who will sign the statement, sign the commitment in the uh, Living Well in Cheshire East call to action. Those people who are prepared to be called to action and you know, sign the statement, take part in a task and finish group that delivers some tangible actions and difference on the ground in those very many areas where there are inequalities. Um, and I think it's about engaging and, and we've got many, many assets. We talked a lot today about assets. Trisha has many assets, many more than many other places, engaging with those assets, both individual assets and corporate assets, to make a change so that we are working with our GPs, our hospitals, our local members, and our local population to deliver that change. Uh, as a sort of one line, as a snapshot, what would you say would be the message that you'd want people to take away from? Today's conference, or the topic of inequalities in general. Yeah. I think it is. We're absolutely doing, been doing okay to date, but we've got a long way to go. Working together is the only way we're going to achieve and make a really big difference. And getting our population, and I think the, the phrase from today was, as fit as they could be, and as well as they could be, uh, will be the key to success. Thank you very much.